Alright guys, so this video is particularly filmed because uh, the young lady who is training with us asked her, well said what most women do, uh, is that say, oh I'd kick them in the balls. Now what I would say is that with most men, especially men like myself who have fairly big legs, you're not going to get into the balls because the legs are just simply going to get in the way. And what I'm trying to show her here is obviously one of the problems is, is when you do kick for someone, especially as most men will anticipate that the strike from a woman will be for the balls, uh, what they'll do is you'll grab your leg. And so what I'm trying to show her is that if if she does do that, uh, what would be the ideal uh, defence or a variety of different defences for that? So I'm showing that I've grabbed your leg and what uh, uh, someone who knows what they're doing will do, they'll drag it up like I've done there. But what I'm trying to do is say, well, first of all, close the distance between me and you. Grab my head and always the first thing you should always do when you're performing a martial art move is control the oppos opposition's head. And in this case, if you're about to be thrown, close the distance. You can see how she's taking me off balance just simply by grabbing my head uh, and using the weight of her leg to drag me down. Now, once she's got grip on my head, put her leg in between my knees and drag it out, drag it out, I can't hold it, and as you've seen there, like I kept trying to tell her, go for my eyes, straight away, as soon as you've got my your leg out of the way and all that, go straight for the eyes, and which is, you know, something that you need to repeat, repeat, repeat. Now, this is one of the great things about sparring and training with multiple people from different skill sets, she's an ex-mountain climber, very agile and great core strength and so she comes up with this move which I think is absolutely fantastic she said well what this is what I would do I'm like well that's yeah that's fantastic because look bang you can hit me straight to the back of the head now um, uh, which can kill a man if you get on top of me I'm holding your body weight it's going to tire me out there's not a lot I can do because the only thing I could really do is probably try and put you on the ground but I'm not in a position to do that my center of gravity is all messed up because you've made me uh, you've got higher above me and you've thrown me off balance and it's just going to be very, very dangerous. And so as long as you keep control of my head to prevent me doing some of the things that I might want to do, which is push you off me, basically, then fantastic. But basically what I was just saying to her here now is saying that, generally speaking, the person who's higher up will always win the fight. That's why people in Mandalorian Battles always wanted to heal. People who are higher up, whether it's height or whatever, will normally win. So if you make him a height advantage, giving yourself a height advantage over me, you're winning, and bang, that, that head strikes. That's how you do it, and look, you drag me down by holding my head, pulling it down, wrap your legs around me for defense, and you can pin me there, hold me there until the police come, or a bystander uh, uh, comes over and stops me mugging you, essentially. You can scream, you can do whatever you want to get some public uh, attention and help from passers-by. I thought that was a fantastic move. Uh, what is better than the move I was showing? What the move I showed is more dependable and something that I can do. I haven't got the flexibility, but it's nice to see something different.